In Washington, all eyes are off the court and on Congress for the main event tomorrow. Former FBI Director James Coney, Comey will appear before the Senate Intelligence Committee to spill the beans on President Trump, which, when you think about it on a human level, is pretty great for James Comey. Can you imagine getting fired, and then the next thing you know, you get to trash talk your boss in front of the whole world? It's, it's like a dream come true. We, um, we got a surprise preview today of what Comey plans to share. The Senate released his prepared statement. President Trump was like, you can prepare statements? But there were a few good nuggets in it. Comey confirmed that Trump asked him to, quote, let go of the investigation into ex-National Security Advisor Michael Flynn's ties to Russia. He said that in four months, he had nine one-on-one -on -one conversations with Trump, three in person, six on the phone, which is very unusual. And this is what Comey wrote about his dinner with Trump back in January. He wrote, he had called me at lunchtime that day, invited me to dinner that night, saying he was going to invite my whole family, but decided to have just me this time, with the whole family coming next time. It was unclear from the conversation who else would be at the dinner, although I assumed there would be others. It turned out to be just the two of us. Starting to read like chapter one of Fifty Shades of Orange, right? It's <laughs> very sexual. Anyway, Comey uh, wrote that at their dinner, the president said, quote, I need loyalty, I expect loyalty, which is not an appropriate thing for a president to ask the head of the FBI, unless he's planning to do the right thing and marry him, that is, but... <laughs> and Trump told Comey we, he had nothing to do with Russia, had not been involved with hookers in Russia, and had always assumed he's being recorded in Russia. I love that he had denied being involved with hookers in Russia. <laughs> Let me tell you, Bill Clinton must be laughing his ass off right now, <laughs> wherever the hell he is. Well, then, because these were uncomfortable conversations, Comey told the Attorney General, Jeff Sessions, he did not want any future direct uh, communication with President Trump. Melania said the same thing, by the way, and it but, <laughs> didn't work out for either of them. So tomorrow will be an interesting day. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die.